Well, hello, Internet. In this um, uh, tutorial of Adobe Experience Manager authoring, um, I'm going to show you how to use launches. Now, we, in a previous lesson, we looked at uh, versions, and now um, launches is very closely related to versions, uh, but it's a very important feature in AEM, and it really helps with uh, uh, the process of authoring. So let's log into a AEM instance here. You log into sites and uh, you find that page that you're trying to uh, create a, a launch for. Uh, once you highlight that, it gives you the option. So for the most part, you know, you probably have that uh, structure looking like that. It's content only. So you highlight that and you have the option to create up there and you can see the launch there the rocket icon so once you create that you can add pages here so if all the pages in children of that node you know if that node had several pages then you'll have all these pages here and you you can select which ones you want to add to the launch so that you can work on a launch that has multiple pages but for the sake of this example one page there so we'll go ahead and select that we we'll go next and we can give it a name there uh, in this case we can call it uh, test uh, launch and uh, create uh, before we create let's just look at these options here existing content it just means we can take whatever exists in the page as it is now and that is also added into the launch a launch is just a copy of the page a copy of the page that we can work on while we still have the existing page you know active and once we work on that uh, copy of that page then we can use it to replace the existing one yeah so basically we work on that copy so we get all the content there and uh, we can inherit source page live data if we do that then every time the original page is updated the content is also updated on this launch and you don't want to do that unless you want to do that and then edit uh, or remove the inheritance at component level and i'll show you how to do that but for the most part we uncheck that you can replace the whole page with a totally new page this is in the cases where you're trying to relaunch a page using a new structure, new design, new feel and look. Then you can do that. And once you do that, you know, it gives you a blank slate, basically. And uh, in, you can go ahead and uh, create that. So we're trying to use that. Uh, this is a date here. And if you were trying to use a date, once you put in a date there, it has to be in the future. And it automatically replaces whatever exists so the launch automatically uh, activates on this date that you put here so you have to be careful and uh, you know this little uh, information icons here should be able to tell you sometimes when you're not sure what you're doing so let's go ahead and create that and we can open that launch you know one thing is very important if you want to remember what you're editing you're not sure you always want to check there and you can see this is not the page you're editing. You're editing a launch. It's filed under launches. And you can see that's a launch folder under CRX D Lite. And, uh, uh, and of course, the details of the launch. So you can make changes here. And you can see here yeah, the changes. You can add whatever you want to add. And once you're ready, you can promote the launch. And once you promote the launch there, you are basically replacing the original page here with your launch okay so that's number one number two uh, you can make a few changes here and there you know you can edit the launch you can edit the properties you can come back here and say hey uh, let's look at all the references here let's close that uh, let's look at the launches what am I looking for test launch and you can go to that you can edit that launch you see you can delete it if you don't want it anymore and um, uh, once you uh, sorry 
What else can you do there? Um, references, launches, launch, you can edit launch, select that. You know, we can include sub pages if this launch had sub pages. You know, things here and there, but that's how you use launches. Um, in the next video, I'll create a launch that inherits the live copy data so you can see how that adds uh, you know a complexity to it again if you like um, or you're learning something and you subscribe um, and uh, or leave us a comment thank you